goes into games thinking like, I don't really care who you are. I don't really care what your rep is. I'm about to one up you. Field, there's nothing you're doing that will get in my path to success. Adams. It's only 19, the New York Red Bulls player. Do I think Tari can be a top player in the world? 100%. As a young kid, it was it was easy to dream. You would have to pull me away from the TV because I just loved watching, you know, soccer, the atmosphere, the diversity to what soccer brought to the world. There was black players, there was white players, there was people of all different cultures, and and that's something that I love. Where I grew up and where I was from, it wasn't the best area. My dad went to jail at a young age and that left me with my mom, and thank God it left me with my mom. That was the best thing that ever happened to me. Having Tyler when I did, I definitely wasn't prepared. You know, when she had me, I, she must have been 21, 22 years old, and to raise me as a single mother makes it that much harder. She'd pick me up and we'd go to the library together because she had to finish college still, and I'm just sitting here walking around the library as a little kid, just trying to make do with what was there. That meant the world to her because she knew that what she was doing was for further success for both of us. Because I was working full time, 10 years it took, 2008, I graduated. And day in and day out, I was looking to this seven, eight, nine year old kid. And time and time again, he came through for me. And those were long days, you know, for her it was eight in the morning until 11 at night. I needed him to have a good role model. I was it. I would have never chose to be a single parent, but it's the best decision I ever made. When I went into my seventh grade year, this kid Daryl walks up to me and, and he says, dude, you know, like, I think our parents are talking. We realized we had a lot of parallels in life. He was a single dad of three. I was a single mom. It just clicked like, like it's been this way since I was born. Like that's just how it's been. The fact that I had such a big soccer background and he was able to trust me. I think that trust between him and I developed on the field. Tyler's not my biological son, but Tyler is my son and he'll always be my son. It was me and my mom against the world until I saw what it was like to have a real family. New York Red Bull was pulling kids in from Jersey, parts of Pennsylvania, Connecticut, New York City, and all the way up to basically where we are, Dutchess, New York. It was a big dollar amount. Should I really be spending this on a camp for one week? That could cover his daycare for almost the whole summer. How can we not do this? Like, you know, this is his dream. And I'm not gonna sit there and say, 20 years from now, I didn't do what I could for my kids. He's like, mom, come on. What if I miss my chance? So I did it. So being part of this team meant that there was a huge commitment to it. We would drive down to Newark, which could take a solid two hours. He'd have practice for two hours, two hours back home. And this was six days a week with games on the weekends. There were days that we weren't back in the house until 12 o'clock at night. And, you know, it just started over the next day. If he's able to do this camp at 11 and the kids are really 12 and 13, maybe he's able to hold his own. So now Tyler was one of the best players in his age group in the country. After that, at 16, New York Red Bulls was in contact about inking my first deal and playing Major League Soccer. 
So now he's about to play against one of the, the best clubs in the world in Chelsea. The head coach, Jesse Marsh, called me and said, you're going to be playing tomorrow in, in the starting lineup. And I was like, just don't go out there and lose 10-0. It's after the 60th minute. I see this play develop, and I'm hitting my brother going, here he goes, there he goes. Next thing you know, the ball's coming across. And all I'm thinking is, he just scored against Chelsea. This is so surreal. Within three years, he's obviously made his debut. He's been successful. He's been a huge part of that team. After that, there was teams that, that wanted to sign me, and I was able to make the decision to transfer to RB Leipzig. That was a really big moment for me. Leaving from MLS and going to Bundesliga, there's many jumps that are being made. Anything on the field, obviously, is a level up. The Bundesliga is one of the biggest leagues in the world. You know, Tyler's first reaction, I'm going to do it. Back of my bags, let's go. So I, I touched down in Germany at 19 years old. You know, this is a completely different culture, new language, new street signs, so the driving. I don't even know where to go. I'm driving on tram tracks. You're two days in and you're like, what decision did I make? Like, this is insane. And to top it all off, you know, I'm working my butt off trying to earn a spot on one of the best teams in the Bundesliga. Now I need to go and prove to people that they didn't just waste money on an American kid. I'm a young American kid that can play, and I want to be able to show everybody in the world that I can play. You gotta win the respect of the fans. You gotta win the respect of your teammates. You gotta win the respect of your coach. See him play, it all makes sense. And you start to recognize why he was able to make that rapid growth from a 16-year-old kid signing his first deal to now starring in the blues till he got 20 years old. When he decided to go to Germany, one of the first things I said to him was, Are you sure this is what you want to do? Mom, this is what I've worked so hard for. This is what every step I've taken has led to. But you're away from family. You don't know the language well. We can't get over there on a regular basis. And he goes, well, you have to give up a lot of things to get what you want. What's up? Hey, what's up? Nothing much, what are you doing? Of course I miss my brothers. Of course I miss my mom and my dad. It does hit you hard when you're like, my family's going to one of my brother's soccer games or my family's going down to Clemson to see my other brother. I want to be there for those kinds of things and support them the way that they've supported me. But there's about a thousand more things that I do want to achieve still. It would be a huge honor for me to, to one day be the captain of the national team and go to a World Cup, compete for a World Cup. We want to show Americans what they're rooting for, give them something to root for. Your son leaves, you know, Tyler just left today. And, <laughs> you know, it will hit tomorrow. It's different, you know, to, to talk to someone, but to physically hold that person is special. If you want something enough, you get there. That's him. That, that's how you sum him up. He wants it bad enough, he'll get it. He'll find a way.